seen this? No! Oh, really? Well, look, here it is. It's the new NCIS um, DVD. Yay! I haven't seen it yet. It's the first time I've seen it. It's really? very exciting. You yeah. should watch it. It's a pretty good show. Yeah, well, <laughs> the thing is that um, apparently the, the cast was supposed to get like little secret DVDs after each episode so we could go back and remember what we said. Yeah. And um, Is that important? Well, yeah, you know. In case you yeah, do a repeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah or yeah. you want to remember who you were on Thursday or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I, 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 second season, I found out this thing that Michael and Sasha, Mark, David, everybody. These people, yeah. These, uh -huh. <laughs> yes, Michael and Sasha and Mark and David, they were all good. And I was like, huh, how'd you guys get those DVDs? And they were like, you never got any? And I'm like, no. So. I have not seen anything from season one All right. since season one. All right. I'm think, excited. I, this is the most extensive and long plug I've ever had for really anything. No, uh, it's because I'm a fan. Oh, you're a fan? Of, that's great to be I'm a fan a of the show you're fan. on. Yeah, yes. and I can't wait. To, to see the show. Well, then you shouldn't read the whole episode so you don't know what's going to happen. No, I just pre-order from, you know, on the internet and hopefully I'll get one really soon. See, that's what I, see, I failed as an actor because of that. Because I used to just go crap, 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 my line, my line, my line, crap, 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 <laughs> my line, my line. I did that once. Yeah. And I was, I loved my character and I was like, this is great. And I ended up on like the most awful, worst, terrible thing in the world because I forgot to read the rest Ever of the Ever seen any of the movies I've done? Ever <laughs> no, seen any actually. of the movies I've done? <laughs> That's what happens. That's what happens. Yeah. And now, how have you been? I haven't seen you for a while. You have you uh, you have been working. Didn't you go on a big road trip or something last I've night? I've been working and working. That. And then last summer, yeah, the day that we finished our show, um, that night actually, my boyfriend and I took off in an old van with the dogs and yeah. drove across the country for two months. Wow. So, yeah. And then we got back the day I started the show again. So we just drove around in a van. In What'd an you old do? Van. Uh, what? Robin 7-Elevens and stuff? Uh. <laughs> paid at the 7-Eleven. That was like uh -huh. lunch and dinner and breakfast. 7-Elevens? You, you, you must have money now. You're on a big hit TV show. Oh. They've got to pay you as well and, and they've got to give you these and pay you. No, I can buy I that. know it's CBS, but you know, you, you should have some money to stay at. I can buy my own DVD, especially because, you know, there's so few things that you get really fandom about and that's one of them, so I'm going to buy my own DVD. Well, buy your own DVD, yeah. but uh, it seems to me a shame you could be spending that money on other stuff like lattes, you know. No, I you need my own coffee. I'm not really? going to pay $4 or 6 or 10 or whatever cup of coffee. Mine costs like, you know, after the water and the grounds, maybe like 30 cents. You don't like Starbucks? No. What, are you a communist? <laughs> I am the product of a lot of hard-working Southern people, right. and I am not going to put them to shame by buying a seven-dollar cup of coffee. Yeah, are you are you you're Southern, right? You don't sound Southern. I to am me. very much so. My entire family, except me, lives in Alabama, Tennessee, and Georgia. Wow. So yeah. what what happened to and you? And they're all firefighters and public school teachers. Wow. Yeah, that's fantastic. Exactly. <laughs> And that is the thing that I'm the most proud of in my life. <laughs> yeah, no, and yeah. as you should be. But last time I talked to you, is this true you're frightened of movie theaters? Is no, that right? yeah. Really? Yeah, but you should never tell anyone what you're frightened of, but you just did, so. <laughs> it's not like someone can come after you with a movie theater like, oh, right. uh, look what I got here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yes, because if you say it's a spider, somebody will come up and throw, yeah, a, spider. throw a spider. But you can't really throw a movie theater at somebody. No, you can't, but I, uh, why would you be frightened of a movie theater? I don't know. Some people think that maybe I'm Lincoln, but um, I think that it's more like... <laughs> Not I, with a South mouth, you ain't. <laughs> no, but, but everybody sits... See, I don't like to give fears away because somebody will hear this and think it makes sense, but this doesn't make any sense. Right. Um, everybody's sitting the same way and looking at the same thing, and it's really loud and you can't hear anything, and there's no security guards at movie theaters, and that's weird. Oh, I, I see where you're going. No, I don't. But yeah. The other thing is, and the lights are off. It's and the really lights are weird. off. Yeah, people yeah. can come in and take your stuff. No, not no. take your stuff, but like crazy things could happen and you wouldn't know. But then also, the, the magic of DVD and VHS is that you can hit pause. Ah, uh, yes. You can go to the restroom. You can go get a beer. Yeah, you can yeah. talk about the scene you just saw. Like, you can do all that kind of stuff. And I prefer to wait three to six months when I have no idea what everybody else is talking about about movies but right. then I see it in my own time and I got my dogs I can't bring my dogs to the movie theater they, they don't, they don't like people that. eat nachos in the movie theater now as well and yeah. I, I am frightened of nachos well I haven't I don't like to tell people that because they come up to you with nachos and go, oh. they could 
They <laughs> could, and they will now. You wait and see. I'll be nachos will be thrown at me like They're I'm some throw kind of nachos at you, and you're gonna scream like a little kid. Uh, that'll happen. I do that anyway. Ah! <laughs> exactly. Polly, we're out of time. You gotta go. Polly, we're out, everybody. We were right back with the song from Brooks and Dunn. Please welcome the enchanting Polly Barrett, everybody. I, I have something I have to do first. Oh, all right. Because I watched your intro. Right. Stand really close to me. Okay. Open your mouth. <laughs> no, it's a DNA sample. That's your DNA yeah. sample. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. eBay, eBay, eBay. Yeah. Actually, uh, just make sure that goes nowhere. Uh, there's a few statute of limitations things I don't want. Uh, don't put it. In, you'll contaminate the evidence. No, it's contaminated already. I yeah. think. <laughs> Quite the way I had in mind of delivering the sample, but never mind. How are you? How are you, dear? I, I am. <laughs> I am. You are? Uh, I are. You really? It's just as simple as that? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's as complicated as that, yes. Yeah. Where are you from? What's that accent? Um, yes. <laughs> really? You're a gypsy? I yeah. am. I am. I consider it a nomad, but yeah. Well, where were you born? I was born in New Orleans. I've lived in Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, New York, New Jersey, L.A., everywhere. Really? Months, months. Why, why, months. why, why, why would you move around so much? Were you on the run? Well, it's complicated because my dad said he worked for the phone company, but my sister and I think he might have been a fugitive, but it's hard because everything, all our clothes had like little bells on them and stuff. <laughs> Weird. No, I think you probably did work for the phone company. But it could have been a ruse. It could have been a ruse. Maybe you should have your father investigated. Do you? Are you involved in crime? No, you're in. You're in CBS. I am of. a crime fighter, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yes. But didn't you study that too? I did. Did you? Did you study? I criminology? did. I have a lifelong crime obsession, and undergrad, I went to school for sociology, psychology, and criminal science, and then I was starting my master's degree in criminal science. And then I ended up in the entertainment industry, talk about crime. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and um, then, like, uh, you know, the, the world goes around and God's like, hmm. And now I end up playing a forensic scientist, which is what I was studying to be in the first place. Well, isn't that weird? That is weird, yeah. It could be weird or it could be perfect. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe it's perfect. How did you go from studying crime to into the entertainment industry? How did that happen? Oh, that story. Well, it goes a little something like this. Completely normal story in the entertainment industry. I, was, uh, I moved to Manhattan because I wanted to finish my master's degree at John Jay School of Criminal Science in Manhattan because I had heard about it, read about it somewhere. So I get there, but I got no money, and I'm homeless, and I'm broke. So I taught myself how to bartend. So I started bartending at a bar. You taught, I got, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you taught yourself how to bartend? Yes, sir, I did. I went to the bookstore. I bought books exactly like I did in my master's degree. I read everything in the world about it. <laughs> You know, I didn't know anything about it. So I went and I said, I'm a bartender. And they believed me. It was very weird. And uh, <laughs> No, I believe you. <laughs> you were? <laughs> well, thank you very much. I'm I may sorry. pour you a drink later. <laughs> now that I have your DNA. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you're not alone, Seth. <laughs> All right. So I was bartending. Shut up! Shut up! Do not judge me! No, no, no. There is no judging. Just love. Oh, hello. Just, have, yeah. you been in, have you been in California long? You don't want me to finish the story? That you oh, yes, yes, no, no. It was just because you said there is no judging, only love. I thought, oh, she's been here for a while. I just want to end it right there that everybody loves Craig Ferguson. You will just leave it right there. Everybody loves what? Craig Ferguson. You no, 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 no. Everybody no. loves Craig Ferguson. <laughs> All right. So what happens? So you go and you're you're bartending, and they believe yeah. you. And now you're a bartender. And see, because I talk fast, all my stories seem shorter, even though they're long. Um, so I get a job bartending <laughs> during like the whole club kid era in New York, and I had a white mohawk and this kid in Kochak. I, first of all, I overhear this chick say, "I made three thousand dollars 
doing a commercial, and I'm like, three thousand dollars? What does that smell like? Like, whoa! Like, I, you know, I don't have any money. So, and then this kid in Kochek says, I know this director that would really like you, and I'm like, where is he? Because I need three thousand dollars because I'm trying to get my master's degree. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, so I go into this director's office, and I'm like, hey, uh, like, I heard you would like me, and, and like, I really need three grand, man. And, um, <laughs> and uh, he, hired, he started hiring me for like commercials and videos and, and short films and stuff like that. And one of the commercials I did ended up being pretty big. And then I got hired on a TV show in, in L.A. And then I've been on TV and in film for since. 10 years. Ever since. Yeah. And you must be getting near to that 3,000 bucks now because you're on uh, <laughs> CBS. CBS. Yes, I love the NCIS show. I love the show. Give a regard to Mark Harmon. He's a lovely man. Mark Harmon. Yeah, yeah. We have to take a break. Polly Perret, everybody. Polly Perret. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back, my naughty little donkeys. I wasn't sure... <laughs> I wasn't sure at the end of the last little bit whether we were finished or not, so I kind of went, uh, bye bye, but I'm not sure. So we, you're back. So that's good. You don't normally I have to say, if this, is your, this is your first talk show, right? Well, there's a little thing about that. Um, I have immense stage fright, which is only lessened if I think about Freddie Mercury from Queen or if I get a hug from an old lady. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Why Freddie Mercury from Queen and why a hug from an old lady? Freddie Mercury from Queen, it's for A, it's Freddie, right? And B, in like a black and white leotard. Come oh, on. yes, I see, of course. Huh? Like, how could that not make anyone happy? Oh, make them happy, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes me happy. It makes you happy think thinking about, about Freddie, Freddie Mercury. Cause, and no matter what happens to me here, I'm not wearing a black and white leotard. Yeah, I noticed that. Nor will I. All right. So there's no point in trying to persuade you then. I don't know, you can always try. All right, what about the, what about the uh, getting a hug from an old lady? I, I, it's just a thing. You like being I, hugged I by like old ladies? I like being hugged by old ladies. Like anywhere at any time, if I feel nervous and an old lady hugs me, I feel better. <laughs> that's, that's interesting and rather sweet. Well, yeah, it's rather yeah. than finding pleasure in someone, like, punching you. Uh, you know. Well, now as you mention it, yeah. Now, what about the... Uh, That's the, your thing, right? Yeah, I, no, I don't like people punching me. This show goes out to almost 500 people. I don't want... I don't want one of these people thinking, oh, he likes to get punched, and then punching me. Right, now, see, I put it out there... That... No, well, just stop it right now! No, 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 not about you. No one should ever punch him. Thank okay. you, thank you very um, much. But a hug from an old lady, or, or from a, a gay male, that makes me happy too. Right. Both of them. Those are... Oh. You go, girl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I might have sneaked that one under the wire, actually. Yeah, because, you know, you don't, you don't make hetero comments ever. Don't I? Oh, no. No, 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 I'm not very... But I don't... Yes. It's your first talk show. I'm sorry. Okay, so anyway, um, so I'm like... So anyway, we're out of time. That's what's happened. You've chitty chat chatted all night long. I've got... I've, you, you talk to... No, but you talk so far. I've had to bump the comic. Jeff Caldwell, we don't even have time for him tonight because we talk so much. I said I wasn't going to be in a talk show, so I made a deal with Craig if I could come here and watch Bright Eyes Live when he was oh, rehearsing and sit in the audience that, he, that I would come into his talk show and now we're calling in favors and here we are. <laughs> You are lovely. You are welcome here any time. And, you know, you don't have to talk fast here. You're amongst friends. You told me the time was up. Yeah, I know, but I was lying. I'm a straight guy. What can I tell you? Uh, Polly Perret, everybody. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> Please welcome very lovely Polly Perret, everybody. Polly Perret. Craig, you know how much I love you, and I love you too. loved you for years. But um, flu, 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 flu. Please come sit really close to me. No, no, uh, it's just a joke. I don't really have stomach flu. But you know what the thing, as far as um, like what you were saying about not 
now that you're married, like not flirting with girls and stuff like this, this yeah. is a great idea. Because if you just keep on talking about like diarrhea and flu and stuff like that, you're not gonna have to worry about it. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's gonna be like miles away. They're just gonna flee. Well, they, they were fleeing pretty good anyway, to be honest. I didn't really, didn't have to bring up any of that. How are you doing? You look well. Are you enjoying I'm, the NCIS? Is Mark Harmon treating you right? Because he can be a bastard, you know. I love him. <laughs> he's, he's like the nicest guy in the world, isn't he, Mark? He's your friend. You I know, know that's him. what I'm saying. But, you know, sometimes he's a bastard. I Let's be honest. I love my job. Really? Oh, yeah. Still, six years because later, you were, love you, it. You did, well, you, six years now, I met you on the Drew Carey show. We you were, were on the Drew Carey show yeah, together. You played Drew's girlfriend. I did, America I did. believed that. I, they? Yes, yeah. they did. <laughs> I played Drew's girlfriend for a while there. I played his when he wanted to be in a band, and um, my character dyed his hair blonde and stuff. I think I, you, I think you were uh, on cocaine. <laughs> no, not 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 you. Yeah, that's right. No, it was wheatgrass. What are you talking about? No, oh, my character was on character. cocaine. Yes, I forgot I did that. Yeah, so you yeah, did yeah. That. No, you didn't. You didn't do it. Oh, I did, but it was before the Drew Carey show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they have to write it in, right? If you break your leg or if you have, you know, say, they, so they just made you a, the, a fake... Uh, a fake cocaine addict, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah. I understand. Now, when you... When, I remember those episodes because Drew had his hair dyed blonde, the ratings plummeted, everything went terribly yeah. wrong. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it was good, but you... What was it? You were in a band, was that right? You were in a band I've and he was in a band. I've been in and out of bands, you? yeah. Like, Are you in a real for, band? Yeah, my new band is Stop Making Friends, but I've been in and out of bands for a lot of time. What do you, what do you play in the bands? Um, uh, mouth. <laughs> I don't know if that technically makes you in the band. You know, uh, uh, oh, oh. It's a joke. You know that's a joke. You sing? What did you do in your band? Pretty much the same. Exactly. <laughs> No, I was I was the drummer, uh, so I wasn't really involved. Oh uh, God! No, any band I Wait, was. Wait, do drummers hear all the drummer jokes, or do the rest of us just tell them? Yeah, no, no, drummers hear them all, but they, they're oh. too stupid to understand you get them. them. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. I'm like, oh, <laughs> ding, okay. ding, ding, ding. Yeah. So you just laugh along. Yeah. And... Oh, everybody's laughing. We must be happy. Yeah. Because yeah. they're funny drummer jokes. They are. Do you know any drummer jokes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I can't tell them on TV. Well, this is really. TV as such. This is just it's not? Not really. It's Am not. I hallucinating? No, it's well, just this is the CBS weirdest in the middle of the dream. night. <laughs> do, you, do you take a lot of hallucinogenic drugs? Do you go down to Mexico and get the peyote and uh, go to the desert for a few days, that kind of thing? No, I'm actually like this all by myself. Really? Yeah. That's true. nice. It's good. It's convenient. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> So when you, he used to be in a band too. Yeah, he was I did, at, yeah. yeah, in his in his uh, past lives. And then I, one time we were joking backstage, and this is years ago, and I said we should do a song together. And uh, which, of course, is a lie because I would never do it because I would be terrified because I have stage fright. Right. But I, I said, "What's your favorite song?" And you said, um, "Stairway to Heaven." I was like, "Dude, you don't actually say Stairway to Heaven because that's like everybody's favorite song. You're supposed to pick something a little more obscure." And you said, "Okay, Freebird." I did not say that. <laughs> Freebird's a great song. <laughs> I love Freebird. It's got slow, it's got fast, it goes on for a long time. But you never it's said awesome. that. Of course you never said that. No, I, I never said Did no. I say that? I was lying. It was just a joke. My favorite song is... Um, if it was a lie or a joke, then you still said it. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I feel bad now. Uh, well, do, you want, do you want to go out on the road and do Stairway to Heaven and no. other Zeppelin covers? It'd no. be fun. No, no, no but, right. but you should, and I'll clap. No, 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 no. Do you tour with your band? Do you go out and no, do I'm, I don't want to tour anymore. Like, I like making music, like writing it, I like doing everything else, but like, I don't like getting up there and doing that. So I just make records now. And then now, this crazy thing with NCIS is that we, uh, there's the NCIS soundtrack coming out on February 10th. Do you have a song on it? Well, I do, which is That's, interesting. Congratulations. Yeah, That's well, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Because... <laughs> We started talking about it a long time ago just because uh, my character is very music oriented. So we, we talked about it a few years ago and me and one of my producers like, dude, we should make a soundtrack and it's just been like something we were talking about and then CBS Records was like, that's a great CBS idea. CBS have records? CBS, yeah. Like, I didn't know about this. Why do they get records? They spin around and you put a needle on them. Oh, yes, yeah, the they gramophone. Play yeah, yeah. music. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Do 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 do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we, we got to talking about that and then they were... 
talking to me about doing a song. My st- I stopped making friend songs. I was like, dude, I am not. My character is not going to be like singing who, on the show. Who do you call dude? The producer? You, I think uh, it no, is. No, do, do you say dude to the producer? You say dude, I can't do that. Do you say that? To yeah, him? I think it was him and and yeah, he's a, okay with a, that. A bunch of people. Yeah, I don't know if they really listen to anything I say. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> right. Like, you know. Not, yeah, I know. But it ended up being. I had a song that was. Uh, well, I had another song that was kind of an anti-war song, and that kind of got next. But uh, I had another song and um, that they really dug, and now it's a like, part of the show, and it's going to be on the show and it's on the soundtrack but the soundtrack's that's, awesome you get some money for that you get some money for that absolutely no they told me that, that that's all free. get a new agent i'm telling you no you get some you get some money for that i sang the theme song for this show 20 bucks a week really that's so weird because they told me every time somebody listens to a song i have to pay them ten dollars that yeah that is cbs right now when you mention it yeah. i was thinking of someone else Hey, uh, are you um, have you been out doing the uh, the road trips? Are you still doing that? Yeah, we just got back. We've been oh, going for twelve go? days. We drove around across the country. We we would be who? Me and my beloved Michael. Oh, beloved and our Michael. dogs in the station wagon. Um, used to be an old van. The van first time that broke, that's gone. Well, not gone. It just doesn't move. Right. But now it's. That's definitely a drawback with a motor vehicle. It, if it doesn't yeah. move, it, it's pretty much done. Exactly. Yeah. Well, this one moved just fine because it's a Volvo station wagon, and so it's me and Michael and the dogs, and we drove right when we got off work for Christmas holiday. We started driving, and we drove for 11 days straight, and we just got back in time to go to church on Sunday. <laughs> so, so we've been driving forever. You, you go to church? I didn't know. All you. the time. Really? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. How you feeling? I, I'm okay. I've got a bit of stomach flu. Did I mention that? <laughs> Okay. Well, you know, I was gonna, I was gonna bring you. I was gonna bring you. I had an old dead flower in my a car that, oh, from yeah. church on Sunday, and I was gonna give right. that to you. Congratulations. Did you I, steal it from a grave or something? No, it was All just right. in the thing at, at, on right. the, the thing at the front of the church. But then I forgot that. So they're not for taking. You know, that's not a party favor. Oh. You don't get to, you don't get to walk out of the church. Oh, help yourself with some flowers, everybody. Have a nice day. That's not what they're for. Really? They're for decorating the church with uh. the baby Jesus. They're not for you to take See? out. <laughs> Can't get it right, but then I was, I didn't have any, I was empty handed and you know, I'm a good Southern girl, so you never go empty handed and I was bringing you some asparagus from your green room, but I forgot that too. Oh, uh, well, I, I'm going to get it now then, shall I? <laughs> so there, yeah. All right. The lovely Polly Perret, everybody. <laughs> I've missed you so much. You've been so busy on that show, doing that thing with uh, solving crimes using cookies. The thing and the, and the stuff and, and all the rest of the stuff. Yes. Very busy. Uh, you're, you're a little busy too. You have a full No, time no, time. I'm pretty much here every day just doing this crap. <laughs> We love your crap. Oh, no, we I, do. I don't know. I, I can't. I, did you get a new tattoo on your finger? Uh, I have. I, don't, I have a lot. I've lost track. Maybe yeah. since I was here last. Yeah. Yeah, you've got. No, what? you censored this one last time. Did I? Oh, because uh-huh. you turned the finger I the did. wrong way around. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Oh. That's my band logo, and I showed it to you like without all five fingers. Oh yeah, no, you and mustn't do that. And you guys censored me. No, yeah, no, we get censored. Here. Watch this. They'll go crazy when when it, I, they censor me all the time. Watch this. Uh oh. Well, look, you see that? He sends it up. And they can do it instantaneously. Uh, but I just, it was just like a small little finger tattoo. That was all. It's a smiley face. Yeah, I know. It's nice. Uh, and that's your band. Look, how's your band doing? Are you still. Um... Yeah, we're in the studio. It's Stop Making Friends. It's amazing. I'm, st- I'm on hiatus. I'm going to finish my record. Can't wait. And then I'm also doing. We had a song came out uh, yesterday on iTunes with a collaboration I did with an artist named B. Taylor. It's called Fire in Your Eyes. And I just did a collaboration with DMC from One DMC. So it's. Anything else you want to talk about? We'll just think of it as the uh, home shopping network. That's Anything a, else you want to do? That's a crazy mug. Oh, it says censored right here on the bottom. Yeah, I drew a penis on the bottom. <laughs> I'm a child, you know. I, I, I like Somebody gave me a pen and I went, oh, and I drew a penis on the bottom. CBS. <laughs> you said penis. <laughs> Censored. Yeah. No, it's a don't, watch, don't spill it on me. Are you really drinking stuff or are you just acting? No, I act. There's no acting here. 
This is not one of your fancy shows, lady. Remember, it's us here, Polly. I was wondering, your name sounds a bit like a mafia name, you know that? Polly. I get that. I Do get you really? that. Yeah, they're like, yo, Polly. And I'm like, yeah, I've never heard that before. <laughs> No, yeah, but but you know, well, the first part maybe the last part I think is like Tourette doesn't French. Does it, does it, what, is, is that French? Well, I think so. But as far as I heard, I'm not actually French. I'm actually Native American, and then a lot of Native Americans end up with French names. So I hear, but yeah. I pff, I don't know. You hear a lot of stuff. Yeah, you hear a lot of stuff. Yeah. You probably heard it from CBS, didn't you? CBS. Yeah, you heard a lot of. stuff. We're in the CBS. Speaking of them, we're in the CBS family. That's what we call it, the yeah. CBS family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo, yeah, that's right. Applaud, applaud that. You don't, you don't even know what it is. It's the CBS family. is like the mafia is a family. We are, and that's what yeah. they call it. And when, when there's new shows and stuff on, I always go, welcome to the CBS family. I can say that now because I've been on a show for like nine years. So is I can, that how long that show's been on? Yeah, we're yeah, going into nine. Wow. Yeah. See, when you were... Yeah, that was good. Yay! And it's like... The number one show in the history of television, or something. Appear, you know what? Actually, today there was a, the poll came out and said it was it was voted what, was a, the favorite show of like all times. Now it was favorite really show weird. of all time. That was a Harris poll, yeah. But it, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Ooh, la, la. What is this? <laughs> what was it? I oh, don't yeah. know. I'm just doing. What tattoos? I just thought that looked cool. Yeah, no, it does look cool, doesn't it? Yeah, but you know, it, it's a poll, but yeah, they were, it's cool. Look at that. People will think we're cool, maybe. No, 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 no. <laughs> they'll think that you're cool, but they'll just think, oh, what is that cool girl doing with grandpa? Wait, is my grandpa here? Yeah, your grandpa's here. <laughs> oh, no. Your grandpa and the CBS family. <laughs> Hello, Polly. It's the CBS it grandpa. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Here to grant your wish. <laughs> No, yeah, so we're in our season finale right now. We got two more left. We had one last night and there's two more and it's crazy. Did I see you in a commercial for something too? I saw you in a commercial for something. What was it? The travel? Did Expedia, I? your Expedia. sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that? I think they sponsored so I don't a know. fine product too, I might say. <laughs> I did. I just was. I just noticed that. I'm like, well, that's convenient. Yeah, no, that's awesome. You know me. I, I, whenever I've got a headache, to Expedia, and I'm right as rain. Totally. I agree. No, I actually, I actually came up in in the, in the early days when I, when I thought I was supposed to be a criminal science sociology uh, psychology person, which I majored in, and then all of a sudden I ended up being an actor. But Who I plays a criminal. Oh, and yeah, crazy. Yeah. But I used to, I used to do commercials and music videos all the time, and then right. and then the, then it was kind of fun to go back and like do that again. Yeah, they're fun. It's good. Yeah, fun. Yeah. And by fun, you mean financially lucrative. <laughs> No, that was, it was, it was, I completely did it for free. Sorry, Grandpa. No, I just can't. <laughs> hey, have you got your plot picked out for when you die? John was here and he was saying that he has his plot picked out for when he dies. Can I just tell you how much I love John Waters? God, John Waters is awesome. I love John Waters. Do you know that too. I actually have known him longer than I've known you? Which is a no really way. long time. You we go way, way back. Way back, way back. Way back. Way back to both of us before we had tattoos. True. Exactly true. That's true. I know. Yes. <laughs> But 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 yes, and and we both used to be in bands and stuff. But then we were on. I played Joe Carey's girlfriend, and he played Joe Carey's spouse. girlfriend. I actually, I played his husband. You did? Yeah, we were the first uh, gay marriage on television on the Drew Carey show. Is that? That's not true. Uh, it's true. Is it true? Yeah, yeah, we got married. Go in Craig. Yeah, yeah. No, to be fair. And Drew, we love Drew. Uh, to to be fair, uh, neither Drew or I uh, or the or the characters were gay, but it was a plot line. Then, okay. Then, so it was a not gay gay marriage first time. One time. Hey, don't judge. All right, don't <laughs> judge. Um, okay, were you just making fun of me about asking you to take a picture and tweet it? You did. I heard you. I was standing no, right no, there. No, I wasn't. No. Okay. Uh, no, no. Wait, did you he? want to do that? No, no. I didn't okay, know. I couldn't really hear what you said. Actually, no. I mean, not that I don't cling on to your every word, Craig. It you was said cling on, and it's me the fourth, which is not that Star Trek, not Star Wars. Huh? <laughs> that would have been awesome if that wasn't wrong. <laughs> It was so awesome. You know, anyway. it's May the Fourth. It's May the Fourth today, which is Star Wars that. Day. May the Fourth be with you. Didn't you know that? No, but I got. <laughs> I now I get it because I got tweeted that several times today, and yeah, now yeah. I understand that. You, I follow you on the Tweety. Do you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, so, yeah. I yeah, I've been I've been tweeting about you too. See, I wanted to take a picture. I thought it'd be really funny, and then like tweet it right from here. But then, did you poo poo that? I no, I didn't poo poo. Can you say poo poo? Yeah, I think you can say poo poo. Censored. Yeah, poo poo. <laughs> you can say poo poo. Well, that's great okay. news. Poo poo. Can we do it? No. <laughs> 
no, right, I we'll mean, take like, a picture then. Like, you know, kebab, I see you whatever. have a phone made by a manufacturer. No, 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 mine's all blocked off. Oh, it is? All right. So if you don't say Ooh, it, you no one... one of the new Expedia phones. <laughs> Okay, ready? You can, you do it. All right. You yeah, have longer I'll do arms. It. All okay, right. okay, very good. You ready? Good. Yeah, but okay, now. Yeah, you look cute and I just look no, weird. No, push the, you have to turn yeah. the thing on. Yeah, I know. But yeah, you look You so gotta cute. push the button. I'm pushing it. Push it. I'm making you wait. I'm teasing you. All right, come on. Awesome. All right, there you go. Now you tweet that. Okay. And then I'll retweet it and then it'll be seen by upwards of 40 people. <laughs> You think? Four zero, yep, I'm saying it. That's so cool. I know, I know. Forty people. I think I think that we have about forty people watching CIS. Actually. No, I think about forty million. Oh, there's more zeros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people love the NCIS. You know, it's the greatest show on TV apart from the show you like. <laughs> You know what? I'm trying to make friends after John did yes, all that religion no, but stuff. I love TV. Yeah, I know. And, but you know what? I love me the John, and I'm a church kid. But and it's all good. You're a church goer, aren't you? Yes, yes. Remember last time I told you I was here on Easter, right after you got married? Yeah. One time, and I was. I, 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 what do you mean one time? <laughs> no, no. One time when I was here, and I, I brought you a flower, and you were like, "Where'd you get it?" And I said, "I took it from church." And you were like, "You're not supposed to steal the flowers from church." Oh, that's right. And I was yeah. like, "Oops." But do you, you <laughs> waited to the day after Mother's Day to steal them from the grave. That's what divine. I didn't. I didn't. No, I didn't steal. I love the yeah, divine. Oh, John yeah. Waters. What an honor to be here with you and John no, at the same time. He's lovely, John. Isn't he? Yes, he, he is. is. Yeah. He's gone now, though. Yeah, he is. He has to. He is. He had to go to a book signing. Like, pronto. yeah. No, he's he's very busy all the time. Yes. You know, you can't you can't mess around. You snooze, you lose with John. Yeah. No, but no one's snoozing with John. Who snoozes with John Waters around? Not the people that write letters. Let me assure you of that. <laughs> It's always a big day the next day when John comes to visit. <laughs> anyway, Aww. we're out of time oh, look, now. Awkward pause look. or oh, what? Oh, they're great baseball boots. Are they Expedia's? No. Here, I'll cover that up. But look at my shoe. NCIS. I have NCIS awesome. shoes on. Yo, that's great. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Steady <laughs> oh, my God. You almost got my foot in your mouth for once. <laughs> Do you, want, uh, do you want an awkward pause or a mouth on I want an awkward pause. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> well, totally. okay. I mean, I'll, I'll clap. Hmm? I'll clap if you play, but that no, doesn't no, count. No, 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 no. If you want an awkward pause, you shall have an awkward pause. Okay. <laughs> this is great. Wait, wait, wait. That's not a pause. I know I interrupted a pause with a... Well, then in that case, you have to try the most difficult awkward pause of all. Smell my finger awkward pause. May the force be with you.